Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss our future videos. What is DBT, Data Build Tool? DBT is an open source tool for transforming data within your data warehouse using SQL and Jinja templating. It simplifies data transformations, improves documentation, and facilitates collaboration. It allows users to declare their desired outcomes and then handle the details of orchestration, testing, and deployment. Unlike traditional ETL tools, which typically involve a graphical user interface for designing data pipelines, DBT relies on SQL code and a command line interface. DBT focuses on the transformation aspect of data processing and integrates seamlessly with modern data warehouses like Snowflake, BigQuery, and Redshift. Explain the key components of DBT. The key components of DBT include models, snapshots, tests, seeds, and macros. What is a DBT model? A DBT model is a SQL file that defines a table or view in your warehouse. Models can depend on each other to create complex relationships between tables. DBT uses these dependencies to determine the order in which to run the queries, ensuring that data is transformed correctly. What is a DBT seed? Seeds in DBT refer to raw data files that are loaded into the target schema without being transformed. These seeds serve as the source of truth for reference data, such as lookup values or configuration settings. They can also be used to load historical data that doesn't need to be transformed. How does DBT handle dependency management and incremental builds? DBT utilizes a DG, directed acyclic graph, to manage dependencies between models. Each model represents a node in the graph, and DBT automatically determines the order of execution based on dependencies. Incremental builds are facilitated through DBT's ability to detect changes in source data and only process the affected models, thereby optimizing performance. How does DBT ensure data quality? DBT includes various features to ensure data quality, such as tests, snapshots, and data profiles. Tests allow developers to define rules about what constitutes valid data, while snapshots capture the state of a table at a given point in time. Data profiles provide statistics about columns in the dataset, allowing developers to identify potential issues early on. What is DBT Cloud? DBT Cloud is a managed service provided by Fishtown Analytics that simplifies the setup and maintenance of DBT projects. It offers additional features such as collaboration, audit logs, job scheduling, and integration with popular BI tools. What are the advantages of using DBT for data transformation? Some advantages of using DBT include version control, DBT projects can be versioned using Git, enabling collaboration and reproducibility. Modularity. DBT promotes modular development by breaking down transformations into discrete units, models. Testing. DBT allows for the implementation of data tests to ensure the accuracy and reliability of transformations. Flexibility. DBT supports a wide range of data warehouse platforms and integrates seamlessly with existing data infrastructure. How do you debug errors in DBT? When encountering errors in DBT, the first step is to check the log output for clues about what went wrong. If the error message isn't clear, running dbt run full refresh command can sometimes reveal more information. Developers can also use the debug flag to enable verbose logging. In addition, dbt provides a helpful dbt docs generate command that generates detailed documentation about the project, including query plans and execution times. Explain Jinja templating in dbt context. 
Jinja is a templating language that allows you to write dynamic SQL with variables, loops, and conditionals. It makes models flexible and reusable. What are DBT hooks and their use cases? Hooks are pre- and post-run SQL scripts that execute specific actions during the DBT lifecycle. They can be used for data cleanup, pre-processing, or post-deployment tasks. How does DBT handle changes to upstream datasets? DBT automatically detects changes to upstream datasets and rebuilds dependent models accordingly. By default, DBT will perform a full refresh of affected models when changes are detected. However, developers can use the on schema change directive to specify custom behavior for handling schema changes, such as ignoring them or performing partial refreshes. How does DBT test data quality? DBT includes a variety of testing options to ensure data quality, including schema tests, check whether a column exists, has a certain data type, conforms to a regular expression pattern, etc. Unique tests ensure that a combination of columns contains unique values. Not null tests verify that a column cannot contain null values. Relationship tests validate that foreign key constraints are satisfied and that there are no missing or extra rows. Custom tests, write custom tests in Python or Jinja templates to meet specific requirements. DBT also supports data snapshotting, which captures the current state of a table and compares it against previous snapshots to detect unexpected changes. How does DBT address performance concerns? DBT provides several mechanisms to optimize query performance, such as caching intermediate results, materializing views, and partitioning large tables. Developers can also configure parallelism levels, connection pool sizes, and other parameters to fine-tune performance for specific workloads. Furthermore, DBT supports profiling queries to identify bottlenecks and suggest optimization strategies. And that's it for today's video. I hope this helps you in your interview preparation. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, keep practicing these concepts and queries. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.